Hey everyone, welcome back to Trout Takes, where we keep you in the loop on everything theme parks. Today is Monday, March 21st, 2022, and in case you missed it, here are your top theme park stories from over the weekend in this week's edition of This Weekend in Theme Parks. big story that came out Sunday morning from Alex Sherman with CNBC reveals that Disney CEO Bob Chapek and former CEO Bob Iger had a falling out and no longer keep in close contact with each other. Uh, the falling out occurred around the time Iger resigned as CEO of Walt Disney Company back in February of 2020. Iger resigned as CEO and just weeks before the Disney park shut down due to the pandemic. Iger appointed Chapek as his successor, quoting, I can't think of a better person to succeed me in this role. He did that just a day before the park started to close. Uh, Chapek followed up that statement with his own, stating that I've watched Bob lead this company to amazing new heights, and I've learned an enormous amount from that experience. Now, a few weeks later, New York Times columnist Ben Smith published a story after reaching out to Bob Iger via email. Iger told Smith he wasn't going to leave Chapek to deal with this new pandemic crisis alone and that he would stick around to assist him in running the company. Um, in the email, Iger said, quote, a crisis of this magnitude and its impact on Disney would necessarily result in my actively helping Bob and the company contend with it, particularly since I ran the company for 15 years. Now, Chapek was reportedly furious when he saw this story and expressed that he didn't need any assistance running the company. A witness to Chapek's reaction said that it was a turning point moment. Ever since then, the two have yet to make amends. While it appears that Chapek could absolutely use some help given the amount of heat he's been under recently. The company has been under a lot of criticism for funding sponsors of Florida's don't say gay bill, as it's colloquially uh, colloquially referred to as, along with major backlash to an email he sent out to employees, uh, which merely just acknowledged the situation and failed to take a stance on the subject. A few days later, he then sent out an apology email for the company's lack of response on the matter, and he finally denounced the bill, although the reception of the apology was already considered too late by many employees. From his questionable decisions as CEO to his questionable people skills, Chapek seems to have a lot of trust he needs to rebuild with the board and employees alike. It is worth mentioning that his current contract will be up next February of 2023, so we'll see what the future holds for the Chapek regime. Disney itself is also under some heat for yet another reason. Um, if you hadn't already heard, this is a story kind of from last week that bled into the weekend. Um, there was a controversial marching band performance at Magic Kingdom last week by the, I'm going to butcher this, Port Neches Grove High School marching band. The school's mascot is the Indians, and their marching band's drill team performed a culturally insensitive scalpum chant as part of their routine. And naturally, chaos ensued over social media, uh, condemning the performance, along with condemning Disney for allowing such a thing to happen. Disney eventually released a statement over the weekend uh, saying, quote, We regret the performance took place as it did not reflect the audition tape that was submitted. Uh, we have immediately put measures in place to ensure performances reflect the audition. However, they did not uh, elaborate as to what exactly those measures would be. In international news, Shanghai Disneyland has just announced that they will be closing temporarily starting today, March 21st, uh, due to the current pandemic situation as China has seen virus cases skyrocket to rates close to what they were uh, during the initial wave uh, back in late 2019, early 2020. A reopening date has not yet been identified. And also over in China, Hong Kong, Disneyland remains temporarily closed until April 20th, 2022. Uh, with that recent news, though, with Shanghai Disney, um, who knows? It's, it's probably likely they're going to extend that at this point. We'll see. And over in Staffordshire, England, one of the UK's most popular theme parks, Alton Towers, had their opening day of the season on Saturday, March 19th. It appears that guests were absolutely thrilled to be back at the parks as 
Tickets were already sold out prior to the park opening. Uh, meanwhile, over at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure, we saw the reopening of Popeye and Bluto's Bilge Rat Barges. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> the ride had been closed down since the beginning of the month for its annual maintenance. And that's going to do it for this week's edition of This Weekend in Theme Park, guys. I've been Mike with Trout Takes. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're looking for more theme park content, tips, tricks, adventures, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. And you guys have a good one. We'll see you soon.